photographs show officers in specialist gear searching drains around the medieval site. At least one police boat is patrolling along the River Thames near the castle. This comes just hours before the Queen is set to leave the nation in mourning for Prince Philip today as the Duke of Edinburgh is laid to rest. The monarch will shrug off the rifts and controversies that have plagued the royal family in recent months to say a final goodbye to her husband, who died last week at 99. Prince Philip's funeral will be attended by a small group of just 30 people, including heirs Prince Charles and Prince William. Prince Harry will also be in attendance, joining the family for the first time in over a year while the pregnant Duchess of Sussex is remaining in California following medical advice. Members of the public are being urged to stay away due to coronavirus restrictions though the service will be broadcast live by the BBC, ITV and Sky News. A national minute's silence will be held at 3 p.m. to commemorate the Duke of Edinburgh's life. Prince Philip met the then Princess Elizabeth in 1939 when she visited the Britannia Royal Naval College at Dartmouth, where he was training to be a naval officer. He served with distinction during World War II and was mentioned in dispatches for his bravery during the 1941 Axis invasion of Crete. Philip gave up his Greek and Danish titles to marry Princess Elizabeth in 1947, shortly before she became queen in 1952. The funeral will be attended by the couple's four children, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. It will be the first royal meeting since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex gave an incendiary interview to Oprah Winfrey last month. The couple claimed concerns and conversations were raised about Archie's skin tone prior to his birth. In response Prince William insisted the royal family is very much not racist whilst a Buckingham Palace statement said some recollections may differ about the events discussed.